Hey, it's Rory with SearchInShot.com and you join me again in MWC Shanghai where I'm still at the Vivo booth and if you look behind me at that really impossibly crowded booth over there, everyone there is lining up to try out Vivo's new AR glasses. So what do they have in store? What have we not seen already? Well, here is what you, everything you need to know about it. Now I'm not gonna lie, when I first heard about Vivo's AR glasses, I thought it was gonna be like smart glasses, like the kind that Huawei debuted, I believe it was last year or earlier this year? Earlier this year. So, you know, stuff that looks like fashionable, sort of hipster glasses, but with screens and, you know, giving you that augmented mixed reality kind of vibe. But then when I saw it actually launch and I saw the glasses, I was like, oh, no, 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 no. This is a lot more towards, you know, Windows mixed reality headset glasses. It's more like a, like a face headset thing rather than just plain glasses. But that's because Vivo's AR glasses can do a lot more than just show you notifications and sort of navigate you to where you want to go. And in their booth at MWC Shanghai, they showed off a couple of scenarios, a couple of ways that you can use their AR glasses, which by the way is still just a prototype. So let's start with the glasses themselves. They are like this huge sort of goggle looking thing with two cameras, two depth cameras in front over each eye and an RGB camera in the middle. And then there's like a little piece there that uh, I believe does the projecting. And then there are two sort of glass panels that jut down into your eyes and are what you look through and what the, they basically act as the display plus a layer of like protective glass over the front. So Vivo's plan here is for you to use their AR glasses in a whole bunch of different scenarios. So one of the first things that I got to try was the gaming scenario where the glasses basically work like a VR headset and they put you in a spaceship because this is like a spaceship kind of game. And then there's like hit tracking motion going on so you're aiming your guns with your ship and just like woo! And you're just like shooting at other planes by tapping stuff on the screen. It was very basic and it was I guess an, an application of AR glasses, but I don't really get how the ability to see the real world while playing a video game really helps because I find myself completely concentrating on the game and then just ignoring the world around me. And when that happens, you know, all you're really seeing is sort of like a, it's almost like a not very high def screen. So honestly, the gaming aspect, I'm not entirely sold on it. Besides that though, they also showed off two recognition demos. So the first one is object recognition, where when you put on the glasses and then you look at something and then the glasses sort of like, you know, something pops up at the side, just off of your uh, peripheral, you know, tell you details like what the subject, what, what the object is, where you can buy it. And then if you point it at certain things, like a video will play, you know, that kind of thing is sort of like how we've always envisioned like the future of glasses to be. And then there was also facial recognition where you look at a person, you never need to remember anyone's face ever again because when you look at somebody, information will pop up. There'll be like a little photo and a name, like whatever other information that you want about the person, all written there neatly for you to check out. But yeah, besides that, it's not a lot of what we haven't already seen with other sort of AR implementations. I guess the object recognition and facial recognition is pretty cool. I haven't personally tried that out yet, but the hit rate for that was uh, pretty low and they, there were a couple of instances where they had to restart the whole application before it actually worked. And the other thing is that the glasses for now, they only work as a display. So all the computing is done on your phone. So there has to be like a USB-C cable plugged into your smartphone. In this case, they had it plugged into an iQ smartphone, which does all the processing and it basically just feeds the information to your eyes. So I don't think that's going to be a very practical way to bring these glasses forward. If they really want people to wear this, number one, they need to make it smaller, more compact, more comfortable. Number two, it needs to be wireless. And number three, they definitely need to figure out the whole cooling solution for the display because when it was on my face, it was really, really hot. And when I took it off, well, there was like a huge sort of sweat patch there. It wasn't attractive, it wasn't comfortable. I don't know, I'm still on the fence with this whole AR solution. I guess in the future, when they're out of this prototyping phase, it will look and probably feel better. But uh, for now, you know, this is what they've shown us and this, these are my thoughts on the AR glasses. But I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you guys think of Vivo's AR glasses? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the notification bell icon, you know, all that good stuff. 
And for now, this is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.